Welcome back to Late Night Football. Today, we are talking about how the Dallas Cowboys win the 2024 NFL Draft. And guys, as you see behind me, look at that. What skyline is that? Oh, oh, oh. It's the Dallas skyline. If you didn't know, yes, we are based here in Dallas at Late Night Football. So that is our beautiful skyline behind us. And it's going to help us make these great picks. We're starting off at 24 overall. The Cowboys are notorious for building through the draft. And that is exactly what we're going to do here today. The Cowboys have lots of different ways they can go today. Let's find the best player available on the board and adjust accordingly. Here goes the board. We see Alt, Turner, Fashanu, Bowers, Latu, Tylese, Murphy. Who is going to follow us? Maybe we need a running back, maybe a wide receiver. I don't think we take a running back in the first, maybe the second, because, like, you're not going to pay that much for a running back. Who falls to us, though? We got good options here for the Cowboys. Look at all this loot, baby. We got great players here on the board. What do the Cowboys do here? Look at all these needs across the board. I think the Cowboys, without a doubt, take a running back right here. I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't kill me, Cowboy fans. I'm not, not doing that. I do think they like Brooks a lot. They like – I'm pretty sure they had a hand in this guy's surgery, but they're not going to take him in the first round. But they might. They might get him at pick 56 overall that might actually happen but here in the first I think it's got to be I like Brian Thomas Jr.'s a prospect a lot and I also like Jackson Powers Johnson it's got to be Troy we know it's Troy the answer is Troy he'll probably play guard or center in the NFL that is okay we need a center as well this is just a great O-lineman that we can move anywhere across the O-line he's flexible welcome Troy you are a Dallas Cowboy I'll see you guys at pick 56 overall where it might or might not be a running back. Just a just a hit right there. Just a just just a wink to you guys. All right, all the Cowboys are back on the clock in the second round, and they can go a bunch of different ways right here. They can go wide out. They can go running back. They could go tackle if there's any true tackles left. We already got our center slash guardish in Troy. Great pick right there. We get in, we can go interior, a linebacker, cornerback. So many options. So many possibilities. Where do we go? What do we do? Let's just scan across the big board. Let's take a look at all these players here. As I'm reviewing this with y'all, side by side, pick by pick, I truly think it comes down to two or three players. One, I'm going to show you, you're not going to like it, I don't think, but you might. Xavier Worthy would make a great two. He doesn't have to be the one. He doesn't have to be the guy. That's okay. He's not supposed to be the guy. As you can see right here, he would take the top off that defense, which would give CD more opportunities to make plays out there by himself, not in double coverage all the time. At running back, like I was talking about, let's take a look. We got Blake Horm, Jalen Wright, and Trey Benson. This guy... I think is their pick on draft day. I think he probably goes 56 overall, but today I am the GM. We're not pretending Jerry Jones is in the chair. I'm trying to make the best team possible for the Cowboys through the rookie draft. I myself am going to go back to the golden days of the Cowboys. Are there golden days? Yes, they're called the nineties, but the golden days of my day and age when I was a kid, I wasn't a Cowboys fan, but I admired them when they had the great wall at Dallas. That shit was fun. They were almost unstoppable. That team was so good. Let's take a tackle here out of Kyron. And you're saying, Cade back to back tackles. First of all, Troy, more of a center and guard type of guy, so we're filling that center role. And Kyron is also very flexible. He can play tackle or guard. we got two flexible dudes on the O-line that can make it happen. Kyron has a bunch of potential out of Yale. Let's make it happen and get him on our roster immediately. All right, y'all. The Cowboys are back on the clock at pick 87 overall. And after this, take a look. Huge drop-off all the way to 174 and then a bunch of 200 picks. Yuck. It's not that great. This is our last real pick. We don't need a wide receiver that's kind of been – fluffed over the offseason I don't love the talent overall on the board they pretty much all got ripped through in the first three rounds but running back let's take a peek we got Bucky I'm personally a big fan of Bucky he didn't measure well at the combine but still I love this guy as a running back Marshawn Lloyd though Marshawn Lloyd is something special I'm a big fan of the studio also had a very good combine let's select Marshawn Lloyd right here who's going to be our RB1 for the Dallas Cowboys look at this dude he's phenomenal I can't wait welcome to the team you are a Dallas Cowboy back on the clock at the bottom of the fifth round this is a huge drop off as I told y'all the talent has for sure dwindled there's some good guys here there's some gems left in this class I like Kamal the cornerback out of Tennessee I like Bo a lot we already got two alignment though I'm not gonna triple dip I like Kalen King personally right here we got to address cornerback a little bit if we can, and Kamal is there. The value is on the board. Welcome, Kamal, out of Tennessee. You are our brand-new cornerback. All right, we are back on the clock, and now we're throwing darts. We're taking the best value on the board. We're not going to get a day-one starter. We know that. We're not going to fill a position of need. Let's just take the value there. I'm going to try to fill the position of need, of course, if the value's there. You will not fill a position of need day-one with a round six pick. It's just not going to happen. The hit rate is extremely low. Take somebody that can develop into something great someday, hopefully in that same position of need. Let's see who we got across the board. For this first pick, because we got three 200 overall picks. This is a, a lot of picks here in the late rounds. Who do we want to take? We could go... 
I like Briggs. I like Briggs out of Cincinnati. Elijah Jones. Elijah Jones slid down the board. I'm going to go Elijah Jones right here. I'm going to pick Elijah Jones. I just went corner. Let's do it again, and hopefully one of these interiors fall to 233. We are back on the clock, and all of our interiors just got picked up here. They all got taken away. So sad, but can't do anything about it. But what can we do now? We got two picks left. I am going to take a linebacker right here. There's a guy named Jalen Ford. There he is out of Texas, right down the road, low moving cost. Let's get this guy in the building for the Cowboys. Final pick for the boys right here. What do they want to do? We're just looking for the best player, man. All right, now this is coming down to about two players for me. We got Hardy, but we've already taken too many cornerbacks. Let's take a safety right here. I also like Anthony, too. His special teams ability shows promise, and that will be his main role when he gets on the team. And hopefully down the road, he turns into something special as a safety. Cowboy fans, this is my mock draft. Let's review. As you can see in my first two picks, I'm making a statement to bring back the great wall of Dallas. Cowboys football is just better when Dallas is a good O-line. It's just a fact, and the team performs better as well. You have a better chance to win championships if you have a good O-line, and this is most definitely a need. Let's get not just one tackle, but two. Troy is truly going to play guard or center in the NFL, so he's going to be our center replacement. Kyron out of Yale is hopefully a developmental tackle that turns into something special there out on the edge. Next, we took a running back that I liked a lot. Now, I didn't want to draft this guy higher than expected or Trey Benson super early in the second, so I decided to wait. And who fell to us? Marshawn Lloyd out of USC. I love this halfback. This guy is so special. And, man, we need it. We need a running back very, very bad. And then the rest of the draft, we had a bunch of needs. So I was just taking the best player on the board. We took a cornerback and Kamal. We took another cornerback and Elijah Jones because he slid all the way to us. Then we needed a linebacker. So I got Jalen Ford out of Texas and Anthony, a safety, out of Mississippi. This is my mock draft, Cowboys fans. Did you hate it? Did you like it? Comment this all below. What would you change? Would you take Troy and Kyron back-to-back? -back? Would you double dip at O-line or no? Would you get somebody different, maybe a wide receiver in the second? If you enjoyed this video today, please drop a like it boosts the algorithm and just helps me out tremendously and if you enjoy these kind of videos these seven round mock drafts go subscribe down below for more content just like this because i'm making one for every single team in the nfl and if you subscribed and if you like the video and you were just a super fan we have a brand new patreon not here but here we got two patrons in our all pro tier thank you cisco thank you david they get an additional weekly video per week and access to our q a sessions and then at our mvp tier mom is holding it down she gets full access to our rookie draft guide you get five draft day tips and a bonus tip tier-based rankings for quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. And of course, a one-pager cheat sheet. So on draft day, you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by, and you're going to dominate your rookie draft for Dynasty Fantasy Football. Thank you guys for spending your time with me on the Several Mock Draft video for the Cowboys today. I appreciate y'all more than you know. Love y'all. Have the best day. Peace. Now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft wide receiver tier list. And this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God tier. Y'all know their names. Say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU and Malik Neighbors out of LSU.